I've already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy between you and your person, we have the Three of Pentacles. And it's with the Queen of Swords. Now the Three of Pentacles is actually a really positive card. Especially when it comes to work, career questions. But it's actually a good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you. They appreciate your efforts. And they also notice the quality of work that you do, even if you don't get paid for it. The Three of Pentacles, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There could be some room for improvement, but you will not have to scrap something and then start again. Now to the Queen of Swords, which can point to a woman in your life. And this is the type of person or woman that's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes. It could go either way, though. Now, if this is not a person, it can stand for the point. It can, it can point to the need for you to be forceful and maybe honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you might have to put your foot down. Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're on point. They're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and what it is that you need. Now you just have to go after it. Queen of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people will find, find this type of energy really abrasive. So, recent past energy between you and your person. Like I said, the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Queen of Swords. So, what I'm getting is that it, it's, I'm getting a feel that for some of you Libras, you wanted maybe teamwork, collaboration, you wanted Maybe the connection would be of more quality. Um, but it felt like maybe you weren't getting that from this person. Something you were not getting. Um, they didn't bring enough to the table. Because the Three of Pentacles can be about some benefits. Like I said, or maybe teamwork, collaboration. Just something that um, someone has to offer, and you're and and you're maybe impressed by it. They didn't bring enough of that to the table, and it looks like you might be just you. Well, since this is a recent past energy, it looks like you probably did put your foot down about certain things. Yeah, it looks like. I'm just kidding that they didn't bring enough to the table. Yeah. Or something. For some reason you felt you had to put your foot down. Put it that way. And you you knew that you had to be really forceful and bold. And maybe really cold and abrasive about it. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. we got the Hermit. And it's with the Two of Cups. Now the Hermit can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the strength card. And the tarot, you may be in the frame of mind where you need or want some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it. Even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Also, this can be a card about trying very hard to, to do the right thing. Trying very hard to do the right thing, but you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. Now, it's with the Two of Cups, which can refer to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. 
It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This is a card that says that things are likely to be going well, and you should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So, coming up for you and your person, Libra the Hermit, and it's clarified by this two of groups. So, like I said, you were probably pretty harsh towards your person. You felt like, like I said, maybe they weren't bringing enough to the table. Could have been something like that. So, after you lash out at them, it looks like you might be thinking about some time alone. Because you want to make sure whatever your thoughts are that you're doing the right thing. Yeah, maybe you don't want to offend this person any more that you probably already have done as the Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords, like I said, can be very offensive, can be abrasive, really bold, cold. So you take some time alone. That's what it looks like. You, you could be thinking about spending time alone just to clear your mind. Because maybe this person really made you mad. And you lashed out. You clear your mind, spend time alone, and you're trying, you're trying to get rid of some baggage about what's going on in the relationship or the connection. So the relationship is actually, it's not a priority for you right now. Not right now. But because it's with this Two of Cups, it's with the Two of Cups, your person, they actually feel that you're their ideal partner. They see you as a, of someone that um, they would probably like the connection to become more committed. Yeah, because the Two of Cups is about a balanced partnership, commitment, all the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. Yeah, so they see you as um, friendship, joy, someone to share things with. Yeah, this person, they actually really like you. Yeah, they see this, they, see, they find you to be a great connection for them, the ideal partner. And you probably know this. You probably know that this person really likes you. So, you're taking time to yourself before you lash out again or say some hurtful words. But you do let this person have it. That's what I'm getting. A lot of you let them have it. That's what the Queen of Swords does. Now, let's see what's coming up for the challenge. We've got the Page of Swords. And the King of Pentacles. Page of Swords, it can actually stand for an uh, actual person in our lives. And if this is the case, it will represent a person who's younger than you. Yeah, because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that means student, youth, immaturity. It can mean those things. Somebody younger than you. It often indicates that there's a message coming in. Now, in this instance, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. And I say this because, like I said, the page is a youth. The page is youth, a student, or immaturity, someone younger than you. And then he has this huge sword in his hand. So, when they reach out to you, it's probably not what you're hoping to hear. It's about some type of message coming in. They want to talk. They've got something to say. The Page of Swords, it tells us that this person could be trying too hard, maybe pushing too fast, or it might feel like they're stepping on your toes, so you might need to study their body language and consider how you do or do not accept criticism or constructive criticism from others. Page of Swords, they can have a great deal of mental and physical energy. Yeah, now, it's with the King of Pentacles. 
which speaks of authority, tradition, success, and money matters. So when he appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is actually not the time to be a maverick. It's, it's the time to follow the established way of doing things. Now, when this stands for actual person in your life, it can refer to a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can, you can believe in and trust, absolutely. So, the challenge page of, page of swords clarified by the King of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting that this person, they still could be annoying you coming up. When you're starting to find them a little bit too immature for you, maybe, they like to bring conflict. The page of swords, they'll keep tabs on you. They might watch you and stalk you. So you're starting to feel... Like it's a bit too much. Yeah. They push too hard. They try too hard. Feels like if they s trying to step on your toes. You're just picking up that this person is just a little bit too immature. But, like I said, they see you as the ideal partner. And they want success with you. Yeah, the King of Pentacles is about success. This person, I'm getting a couple of storylines. They want success with you. You're finding them to be a bit too much. On the maybe childish, childish side. But they want success with you. Or, for some of you, you find them really immature, a bit too much. And you could be thinking about someone else that you feel would be better for you that's like this King of Pentacles. Because the King of Pentacles is actually career focused. They're secure and committed, or they're, they're willing to commit. They're okay with, they bring security and commitment, put it that way. Um, the King of Pentacles can be a really good father, they're very stable. Yeah, so that's the other storyline I'm getting. For some of you, you, you know someone like this that would be really good for you. Yeah, and you just the person that you're with now is just, you know, they're a page with a sword in their hand. So they like to bring maybe a conflict or a drama. They do silly things. So you might have somebody else on your mind that's more solid and stable. Um, they could be really career focused. Yeah. Somebody else is on your mind, Libra, that you think would be better for you. So let's see what the outcome is. Now we have the Ace of Wands and this with the Nine of Swords. The Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, very positive ones. Could be in the area of work or accomplishments. Um, but it could be romance family. If you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. Because if you look at the picture of the Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word outcome. It looks like it's sitting above the clouds. But no, it's, it actually has burst above the clouds really fast and powerful. Yeah, this card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. So you could be feeling quite energetic, very positive, or you will be feeling that way soon. Yeah, it's a great time to start something new. Now, it's with the Nine of Swords. So with this card, it's about needing to guard against feelings of anxiety. If you're feeling anxious, you might want to take a good look at whether or not any of that's under your own power or control and try to lessen it. Or if other things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety. Now, if this is the case, you might want to take a good look at that and see whether or not 
something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there could be something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or just different than it is. So try to take comfort in the ordinary things and just know that that's where the beauty really is. So the outcome for you, Libra, Ace of Wands, clar clarified by this Nine of Swords. So, yeah, for a lot of you, Libras, you got someone new on your mind, someone different, different than who you're with, someone other than who you're with. This, um, because this Ace of Wands is about a new beginning. So you're thinking about a new beginning with someone you already know. Or someone new, maybe someone you just met, but I'm picking up for a lot of you, it's someone that you already know, and you know this person would be good for you. Yeah, because they're the king of pentacles. Now, for some of you, this is going to cause you anxiety, because you really don't want to hurt the person that you're with. Yeah. You really don't want to hurt this person, so you might have some sleepless nights. You might be feeling sad because you know you're, you're ready to, you're probably ready to move on from this Page of Swords. Yeah, you're ready for this King of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles is, has a lot going on. They're successful with money matters. Like I said, they're stable. They're not afraid of commitment. They bring security. Yeah, you want a new beginning with this King. Yeah, so you might experience some some worry and sadness because I don't think you want to really, really hurt this page. But that's what I got for you. That's the reading that I have for you, Libra. So I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I will also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with a love interest, or someone romantically, your person in this reading could actually be a friend, or it could be a family member, or it could be a situation. So you have to take the reading for however it resonates. Also, the roles can be switched. So, Libra, I can never say enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.